All right, today we're having a look at uh, Blackbird by the Beatles, and we have a lot of finger picking to do. All right, so let's go through um, measure by measure. And our first measure. All right, and then remember with your right hand, you can use your middle and index on string two and three. So like that. It makes it easier to, instead of making your first finger do all this work, hop in between string two and three, and your thumb can take care of the bass notes, which are on string five and six. All right, now after this first measure, to be looking where you're going before you make that shift. That's a big shift up to the 12th fret there, a 10 and 12th fret. So notice I'm looking at, at my 12th fret to, or else I'm not going to get there. I'm going to fall short or I'm going to overshoot it. You have to be looking at where you're going before you make the shift. Once you get there, that's the rhythm. Listen again and watch my right hand. You can split that measure in half. The first half will be, all right, then you just repeat that. Do that twice and you got that measure. All right, then you repeat the first two measures. All right, here we go again. Look. Then you have something totally different here in the fifth measure. Really pretty, right? You got this bass line going boom, 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 boom. And over the top, boom, boom. Oops, sorry. Dum, boom, 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 boom. And it goes up one more fret in the next measure, but this is how I finger this. I got my pinky on string two fret five and my first finger on string five fret three. And the third string open is always gonna be with your index finger. Watch how I do this, this um, middle index, middle index, middle index, middle index. And notice your left hand is in this position than this one with uh, the four and the three. And you always got that open third string to go to. But then you repeat this pattern up two frets with the five and a seven, five and seven, six and five. That's the same figuring used for five and three and four and three, or three, five, four, three, but then five, seven, six, five. It's the same fingering, just two frets apart. Good to know, right? Um, so there's that measure, uh, five. here in the sixth measure you when you make the transition you can keep your second finger down and just slide up to string five fret seven and add your pinky on string two fret eight and go here's change the bass notes there this is one of the easiest measures in the song seven and eight six eight six and eight and still, uh, th this is actually the same thing as when you go up to 12. It's the same right hand fingering, this, this thing uh, in fret measure uh, six. Okay, now I'm on measure seven. Okay, this is very similar to measure five, but it's kind of reversed. Measure five again. Da, 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 da. Then uh, measure six. Let's see, the best fingering for this would be second finger and fourth finger on five and, uh, I'm sorry, three and four because of this into three so three and four this is measure eight now 
keeping my fingers the same, second finger and pinky, uh, three, four, two and three. This is uh, measure nine. I just use my third finger here because it's free to get string two fret two. And then one and a bunch of zeros there. Okay, and all this, all this picking that I'm doing is very similar to the second measure where you're doing this. Um, he keeps going back to that. So in measure eight, you're going to use that fingering all the way through measure eight and nine and ten. Just going, uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, <laughs> here's measure ten. Measure 10 is the same as some other measure we had? No, but it's the same stuff. It's just a string six fret three and a bump, but the, it's a short measure because it's only two beat measure. And you see there's a big two four there, meaning two beats in the measure. Let's do two more measures. We're just gonna do uh, measure um, 11 and 12 and and wrap up for this section here. Then uh, let's see, I'm, we have a string five fret three and string two fret five. Oh, sorry. There you'll have a pretty easy time with that measure, I think. Measure 11, then measure 12. And that's it. All right, so the whole thing, see if I can bumble through this here. And kind of starts over again um, in verse two. Uh, so hit me with any questions anytime um, if you run into trouble with this. But if you get the first two measures, first four measures, the rest of it isn't so bad if you follow the fingering, you know, guidelines they give you. If you if you come up with a better fingering, good for you. Let me know. But um, it, following the left hand guidelines a lot will help. Um, with the transitions between, because I mean, you're all over the place on this song. Um, so have fun with it and, and uh, look forward to seeing how you do with it. Thanks a lot for watching.